Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, September 16th. It's the 14th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 68, verse 1 to 27. And Job, chapter 41, verse 1 through 11. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and sea for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Alleluia, arise, my God, and let your enemies be scattered. Alleluia, Psalm 68. Please recite together with me. Alleluia, arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. As smoke is blown away, let them be blown away. As wax melts before a fire, let the wicked perish at your presence. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before you. Sing to God, sing praises to God's name. Exalt God who rides upon the heavens. God's name is Yahweh, rejoice before God. You adopt the orphan, O God, and defend the widow. Such are you in your holy dwelling. You give to those who are alone a family. You lead prisoners to freedom but the rebellious must dwell in a dry land. When you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens rained at your presence. Even Sinai itself was moved, O God of Israel. You sent a plentiful rain on your inheritance and refreshed the land when it was weary. Your congregation has dwelt therein, you have provided out of your goodness for the poor. You gave the word. Great was the company of those that proclaimed it. Rulers with their armies fled while you were at rest among the sheepfolds and the women at home divided the spoil. Like the wings of a dove, they are covered with silver, her feathers brilliant with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered rulers, it was like falling snow in Salmon. The hill of God is like the hill of Bashan. A high hill is the hill of Bashan. Why do you leap, you high hills? This is the hill where God desires to live. The Most High will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Most High comes in holiness from Sinai. You have ascended on high, and you have led captivity captive. You have received gifts for people, yes, for the rebellious also, that you might dwell among them. Blessed are you who daily bears our burdens. You are the God of our salvation, the God who saves us. By you we escape death. But you shall crush the heads of your enemies, and the hairy scalp of the evildoer. You said, I will bring my people back from Bashan. I will bring my people back from the depths of the sea. That your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies and the tongues of your dogs too. They have seen your procession, O God, the goings of my God, my ruler, into the sanctuary. The singers went first, the musicians followed, among them were the maidens playing their timbrels. Blessed are you, God, in the congregations from the fountain of Israel. And there is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, 
the leaders of Zebulun, and the leaders of Naphtali. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Arise, my God. Let your enemies be scattered. Alleluia. A lesson from the book of Job, chapter 41, beginning at verse 1. And the Most High said to Job, Can you draw out Leviathan with a fishhook? Or press down its tongue with a cord? Can you put a rope in its nose or pierce its jaw with a hook? Will it make supplications to you? Will it speak soft words to you? Will it make a covenant with you? to be taken as your servant forever? Will you play with it as with a bird, or will you put it on leash for your girls? Will traders bargain over it? Will they divide it up among the merchants? Can you fill its skin with harpoons, or its head with fishing spears? Lay hands on it, think of the battle. You will not do it again. Any hope of capturing it will be disappointed, were not even the gods overwhelmed at the sight of it. No one is so fierce as to dare to stir it up. Who can stand before it? Who can confront it and be safe under the whole heaven? Who? Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are a God that scatters the enemy like smoke in the wind. Show forth your mighty power. Strengthen us in your ways. Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.